It's always sad when you hear a loved one and somebody dying in your family member or a friend. And then you hear about the bad news and people break the bad news to you. But sometimes in the world, you have to be stronger in yourself and for everybody else, everybody else around you. I've done a video on YouTube about four migrants and children dying in the world. It's very saddening and very heartbreaking. And then nobody would like to see anybody, as you know, dying in their family members or people that they know because it hurts them deep inside the heart here. Now, the reason why I've done that video is because that's what I like to do. I like to do news videos, talk about other general things, talk about games, do live streams on games. This is what I like to do. And to bring it to light, and most people, some people will probably care about this, or people probably won't. They'll probably just say it's just the way it is. But why do people think like that? I don't know why people think like that, but it's just very sad and heartbreaking that you hear that uh, somebody in your fr friends or family die. You, you lose a good friend. But this is what's why I've done the video about the migrants because they tried to come through the English Channel remember they're that desperate to come over to the UK they're that desperate to just live an ordinary life and get away from war in their other countries because they don't want to be around war they want to be like us um, and you know they want to live their lives which most people have a problem with and uh, the thing is in the world what people have problems with is terrorists I can't stand terrorists and I'm gonna say this in this video no one deserves to get blown up in the world in a room full of people for no reason at all we all deserve to live our life free and in harmony that's what I mean there was a concert in Aradei Grande's thing in Manchester a couple of years ago back where this guy had a backpack on and decided to go in a concert and blow all the children and people up in there some people children and men women babies died in there very sad and heartbreaking um, you wouldn't expect to go to a concert or a show or your favourite song or music artist to watch and get blown up in there. So that's that's what happened on there. It's on the news on the TV. Um, the guy with a rucksack on went and killed everybody with a bomb in his bag. Just getting pissed off even talking about it. That's why I mentioned my head and getting very annoyed speaking about this sort of subject. But sometimes you have to. Um, there was a suicide guy, vests, free people going around stabbing people in London a couple of years ago back with 10 suicide vests on the police shot them dead there was a, a man from Staffordshire what went around stabbing people on the bridge for no reason the public took the knife off him and there was an undercover police officer on the bridge there was an incident near the um, Buckingham Palace where a black guy drove a car and started running people over and crashed into the gates of there you see all these events that have happened all over the years and probably events that happened in the Victorian times and the Tudor times of people getting murdered. You know, you've got to really think about what you're doing. If you do one thing in your life, you mess your life up. If you don't do the right thing or you know, the wrong thing, their family members are probably going to be disappointed in them, disgraceful of them. Why would you want to build up and bring up somebody what wants to blow up people and just terrorism acts? People like to be all around nice people. I'm a nice guy. Fair enough, I may get carried away in my videos and people may think, why am I doing the videos? And I'm contradicting myself, but that's just me. You know, this is the real me talking here now. Uh, I've done my videos on here, so I'm doing some more. I'll be doing some streaming later. I'll be enjoying that. Hopefully people will like it. But the thing is, why are these killings, shootings and murderers, murderings happening frequently? No one deserves to go through all these sort of problems in the world for you people and you guys there you're probably confused as well thinking why is the world the way it is why is the world a crazy place this is why I'm doing this pretty good video none of us like the world we're in but we sort of adapt in the world is the word I'm looking for we have to evolve every time but this is why this video is going on to YouTube. It's a pre-recorded video. It's not a live video, but it will be uploaded. And there's nothing wrong with what I've said in this video. I've not said anything wrong or horrible what I've said. It's what I feel. I do not like terrorists, okay? That's my opinion. Okay, guys and girls? That's what I believe in. I don't like terrorists. I hate them. I think they're scummy bastards that blow people up for no reason. Just because they think they're going to go to heaven, heaven quicker. I don't like terrorists. I like the army. I, I think the army way is what I think. That's why I wear this thing in my hand. I'll show you. This is what I like. 
uh, the army is much better than being an ISIS person because I hate ISIS. Anything to do with ISIS and terrorists, I'm not interested. That's why I'm doing this video. I like the army. The army are the real heroes. Okay? That's what I believe in. No one can take my beliefs away from me. If I believe in the army and I like the army, that's me. And that's not crime. That's nothing to do with terrorists. The army is nothing to do with it. It depends which army you in, are in. But if you're in the British army, if you're in the American army, you know what I mean? But I find it very disgusting and horrifying that someone would do that to somebody. Just because they want to enjoy themselves in life. Go places and then someone blows them up. That doesn't make it right. It's like the twin. <coughs> it's like the twin towers, but they got blew up. That wasn't right for everybody else. What well, people in the offices working? You know all this pain that people feel and fear. It's real, especially with the trolls and the haters online. You get as well. Nobody likes them either. You know I'm speaking from my heart because I believe in that way. You know, as an angel would say, you can make some of you guys are going to make a laugh at me. If someone ever asks you to join up and be a terrorist, what you say to them is no, because you're going to affect everybody's lives and their lives around you. Nobody wants to know you being a terrorist. I'm telling you, if you guys go to decide to join up, some of these, I'll tell you something, a story. Huh? Some of these people from the UK join ISIS and go over there and fight from the UK and we're killing our own people. That doesn't make it right. That's what they believe in. Some people say you can't change somebody's mindset, but... Uh, what I believe in is saving people's lives. That's what I believe in. I don't want to see anybody else die. That's what I believe in. But if you're if you're somebody that's horrible and, and a bully and wants to inflict pain onto people and hurt people, you deserve to be the rest of them, in my opinion. So just be nice in the world, be kind to people, help people, be your own model. Or right, anyway, I better go now. Hope you've all enjoyed the video. Hope you all understand what I've said. But like I say, I'm not going to change my views on terrorists because I, I can't stand a terrorist. I don't like terrorists. Full stop. Okay? That's what I think and I believe. You may laugh. But I don't like them. Right? And I've never liked people like that. I like nice people and good people that you can actually speak to. People that are on the same level as you. At least the people in the army can look after their own brothers. Remember this and uh, their own allies. The people that are terrorists, uh, do terrorist acts, always fill in the places, like people, you know, people in a gang. If they get shot, what do they do? They replace somebody else there to deal with the thing. And they don't care about them. They're just using them as extra baggage and extra weight. People in the army, if they lose the brothers, what I mean by that is, the friends, the allies, you know, have sympathy. That's what you guys and girls need. You need sympathy in your life. You don't want to be going down the road with badness. You want happiness. But anyway, thanks for joining me. Hope you all enjoyed the video. Give it a like and give it a comment. And I will back it, be back soon. Peace.